Hey there, YouTubers! I've got a not-so-short video for you um, today, but uh, it's a video that I've been wanting to do for a while, and I did two others in this, let's call it a series, um, my experiences in college and my experiences in high school. So right now I'm doing my experiences in elementary school, and by experiences I mean in terms of my disability and how everything went with that. So, without further ado, let's get to it. I went to, most people go, I guess, I guess, I'm not really sure on this, but I guess most people go, go or went to a, uh, like a K through six elementary school, and then they go to a middle school, seven, eight, nine, and then they go to high school, 10, 11, 12 grades. Uh, I didn't do that where I went to school. It was K through eight. Um, that's really neither here nor there and has nothing to do with the disability. Just thought I'd mention it. Uh, because it was in a, a very sparsely populated area, very rural. Um, so first things first is that the school didn't, when they, the, the administration had heard that there was a disabled kid that was in the area and that could go to school at that school and they didn't want me, me being the disabled kid. Um, they hadn't met me, they hadn't given me any tests they hadn't basically they didn't know anything about me other than that I was had a disability um, they, and they suggested that I go to a different school because it would be easier better more convenient whatever the re their reasons may have been um, the school that I went to was not equipped to deal with a wheelchair user but that would change over time um, and my parents um, fought really hard for me to go to that school because they wanted me to have the same experiences that every other, um, let's say normal or regular or whatever kid had in the area. Um, plus I had gone to a normal, uh, nursery school. So I had already, I had already made friends with lots of the kids in the area. Um, in, I had to use... The kindergarten room had their own bathroom, so I was fine during kindergarten. I was able to use that bathroom. From grades 2 through 6, though, I had to use the kindergarten bathroom. Because the first grade also had their own bathroom, so I was able to use that. But starting in second grade, the, um... Excuse me. Starting in second grade, the... The second and third grade regular restrooms, which were out in the hall, did not have an accessible stall. For 4th, 5th, and 6th, the, rest, the restrooms had a step up to get into them, so I, I, I have no idea what those restrooms looked like inside because I could never, I could never see in past the doorway. Um, so for 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th, I used the kindergarten bathroom, which, as you can imagine, was a little bit embarrassing, um, but, you know, it was what it was, and, and I dealt with it. Um, also, grades four, five, and six, the classrooms were up a, a, about a half a flight of stairs. The only way to get up that was an extremely, extremely slow wheelchair lift. And I don't, um, I don't mean elevator, I mean an actual lift. Um, it was really rickety and old and s extremely slow, um, but so, so basically, if I was up in the fourth, fifth, or sixth grade room and I had to go to the bathroom, I had to go on the lift, the slow lift, go down it, go all the way down to the kindergarten room, go to the bathroom, then go all the way back to the lift, up the slow lift, back to the classroom. Um, the art room was only accessible if I had my braces on inside the building was only accessible if I had my braces on and went down it was it was down three half flights of stairs so I guess a flight and a half basically um, or story and a half um, from the rest of the building um, if I was using my wheelchair which was most of the time uh, I had to go outside the building and down a large curvy hill to get to the art room and although that seems treacherous and it was it was actually the better way because the braces way was way more arduous um 
So the cafe, we, <laughs> our school didn't have a, de a dedicated auditorium, a dedicated gymnasium, and a, or a dedicated cafeteria. It was the cafe gymatorium. We had lunch, gym class in the winter, and, um, um, what, what do you call those things that would be in an auditorium? I can't think of it right now. Um, excuse me again. Anyway, um, like music, con uh, choir concerts, uh, stuff like that. Assemblies. Thank you. Thank you to my brain who made me think of it. But assemblies, they were all in the same place. Um, and actually the library, the library was off of that cafe gymatorium. So I had to, I didn't mention it yet, but th that was down an enormously steep and long uh, ramp. So that was fairly treacherous as well, as well, especially during the winter when it could potentially be icy or snowy. Um, it's a wonder I didn't get injured more, uh, or at all for that matter, trying to go up or down it. Uh, going down myself was possible, but very dangerous because of the steepness. Going up was nearly impossible because of the steepness, but I think I did manage it once or twice. But I used to have, um, I had an aide help me throughout the day. Um, so, and I didn't have to go down that in kindergarten, but starting in first grade, you did. So from first grade through eighth grade, <laughs> I had to go down there for various things. But I did have an aide to help push me up uh, and also help restrain me when I was going down so that I, I wouldn't fall or go down too fast. Um... And one, my aide in seventh grade actually broke the one of the handlebars on my wheelchair because he should have been holding both handlebars to make sure I was going down slow enough. But instead, he only held one, and he did that so many times that I guess the the um, the pressure on that handlebar it just it broke right off. Uh, anyway, I took. I didn't go on the main school bus, of course. I went. I was a short bus kid. I had my own bus, although uh, very frequently uh, the bus driver's kids would be on it. And for um, field trips, I got to choose one classmate to go on the bus with me and keep me company. Um, which I suppose, which was kind of cool in a way for me, but I suppose it could have been cool for them, but it also could have sucked for them because maybe they wanted to be on the bus with the main kids, although I don't really remember, I, I don't think any of my friends ever refused to go on the special bus, the short bus with me, but I suppose that could have been an issue. Um, okay, moving right along. So I mentioned that for Jim in the winter, we went down to that cafe gymatorium, but uh, when the weather was nice, so it's like September, October, um, April, May, June, um, potentially part of November, potentially part of March, um, during recess, um, or, um, <clears throat> excuse me, or gym class, if we played kickball or baseball or something like that, so someone else would act as the batter or kicker, and then another kid, and then, so I would be off to the side, and another kid would push me in the around the bases as fast as we could go, and that was... That was really cool and fun. Um, although looking back, I probably could have been the batter myself. Obviously, I couldn't been, have been the kicker, um, but the way we did it was really cool and a lot of fun. And the other kids seemed to enjoy it too. And I was like the token wheelchair kid. Um, so let's see what else. Moving on. Oh, uh, oh yes, I was. I did participate in little league baseball when I was a kid. Um, I was an honorary coach, and I had a uniform, and they gave me a score sheet. I was the official scorekeeper, uh, and I went to every game, and we got ice cream with the team every time uh, we won. So that was really cool. Uh, let's see. I also, this is kind of like extracurricular stuff, but I participated in um, Cub Scouts, Weebelows, and Boy Scouts for quite a while, but I ended up quitting Boy Scouts in around 7th or 8th grade, although it might have, it, it might have been, it actually might have even been freshman year of high school, 
um, because at that time there were no alternate ways that you could get merit badges, so I had a lot of trouble advancing in rank. Um, now, these days, Boy Scouts are much more accommodating to members with disabilities, so like, back then, like, if you couldn't get the swimming merit badge, you couldn't get the swimming merit badge, that was pretty much it. Too bad. Um, you know, if you couldn't get the hiking merit badge, or, or whatever other thing that people with, um, normal abilities could get, um, people with disabilities were screwed. Um, there were no alternate badges. Like, now, um, if you can't do the swimming thing, there might be, like, two or three other merit badges that you can do instead of that, which is, which is really nice, and, per but who knows, if that had been around when I was a kid, maybe I would have ended up being an Eagle Scout, you know, I don't know, because everything else I was able to do. Um... Okie dokie. So, moving along, I had, I didn't, uh, I mentioned in the high school video that I had physical therapy at the school. So, f until seventh grade in elementary school, I went to Easter Seals um, in Easton, Pennsylvania, which was just across the river from where I lived, uh, where I grew up. And um, I did that, um... Actually, before Easter Seals, I went to a, a, um, a thing called Project First Step, and it was like a, a quasi, like a pre-nursery school or a companion nursery school and a physical therapy thing in one. It was like a combo deal. But then after that, I went to Easter Seals, and I did that until seventh grade, and I actually really liked doing that. Um, it was nice going to Pennsylvania, and... Um, you know, we would stop at McDonald's or whatever, and I'd get a Happy Meal, and that was always fun. Um, but I also, I would walk around the, the Easter Seals building was shaped like a, a square, so I would walk around the entire, uh, when, I, when I say a square, I mean most buildings are square, but, uh, or rectangle, but there were all offices in the center, and then, and then offices on the outside, but there was like a, a center walkway that you could go in, and I'd walk around the entire building with my braces, sometimes multiple times. I was, back then I was younger and I was stronger and lighter and, you know, I could do it easily. Uh, it's, it's much more difficult now. Um, but I also used to practice going up steps there. Um, and I would walk up the steps to the attic and in the attic, they had uh, old typewriters and I would type on the typewriters and pretend I was sending letters to Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or Splinter, or the Shredder, G.I. Joes, and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, excuse me. Um, let's see. But then, starting in seventh grade, uh, a physical therapist came to the school I went to. So that would happen in seventh grade. And that also happened in eighth grade. And then, as I mentioned before, in high school, same thing. Physical therapist came there, uh, came to the high school. Um, so the parking was never an issue, like handicapped spaces or anything like that in elementary school, because I didn't really, um, I, I wasn't driving at that point, but there was one handicapped space right up against the main entrance of the building and near the long ramp to the cafe gymatorium. Uh, and it's, it's still there. I've been back a few times recently, um, and that space is still there. It was actually right, just right outside the second grade room. Um, so, oh, in, so in gym class, this is just a kind of weird, quirky memory, but um, I did participate in gym with all of the, all of the rest of the kids in my class, unlike for high school. So I mentioned in the high school video that I went to the weight room and then I did reports about the various sports they were doing. But in elementary school, I, I participated in everything that the gym, that the regular kids did. And there was one, one sport that I really loved the most, um, and that was scooter basketball. And the reason I loved that the most was because we had these little scooters, um, little flat scooters. They were only about maybe that high that the kids would sit on, so it made it meant that I was the tallest one in that sport, and I would block it, like, every freaking shot. I was, 
it was it was so so much fun for me because it was the one time that I got to feel like I was the person who wasn't disabled I was like I was the uh, I was the Michael Jordan um, at you know at that time or now the LeBron or the Giannis Kevin Durant or whatever um like I was I was the big guy I was the strong one it was it was a really cool and fun experience and one I remember fondly and another one was when we used to play floor hockey I was the goalie so basically I would position my wheelchair sideways and I basically I blocked almost the entire goal with my wheelchair so it was very hard to score against me um however I do remember one time my friend Willie Bachman managed to hit the puck up in the air and get it past my head and I, I'm pretty sure that was the only time that anyone scored against me in um floor hockey um I think I think that's about it. I think I've covered everything I want to cover. Um, so thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to stay safe out there.